I'm sure you've all heard about the Face at Age Challenge that has been taken over social media recently. And maybe even you tried it yourself. Well, in case you didn't know, this app allows people to use photos of themselves and see how they will look many years older. I guess most people have a natural curiosity about how aging will treat them. We may be concerned about how bad our skin will wrinkle, or if our entire head of hair will turn grey. But have you ever wondered why exactly we age? How the actual aging process happens? Well, in this video I'm going to explain some key factors that play a role in how our bodies age. So what is aging? The biological term for aging is senescence and that simply means that our body structures and internal processes are going to gradually deteriorate and fail over time. So this is what will lead to the obvious signs of wrinkled skin, graying hair and of course reduced energy and strength plus an increased susceptibility to injury and disease. But what really causes this deterioration in our bodies? The process of aging all comes down to our cells and their functions. Our bodies are made of trillions of cells which organize themselves into tissues and organs to perform different functions to sustain our lives. Now our cells contain a nucleus which acts as the control center containing DNA packaged in chromosomes. Now DNA has special segments called genes which determine our characteristics and orchestrate all the activities in our bodies, including cell division. So when genetic changes and damage occur in our cells, they can actually cause the cells to stop replicating. Therefore, our cells actually have expiration dates. Naturally, cells would usually divide in order to multiply and make more of them. So through the process of mitosis, human cells would divide for growth and repair of all the tissues in our bodies. But as time goes by, the cell division process starts to slow down and eventually stops because of various genetic reasons which I will look at shortly. So let's take a look at this diagram here. This highlights two pathways cells can actually take after damage occurs to the DNA structure. So both pathways can lead to tissue degeneration which causes aging. So firstly, when DNA is damaged and the repair mechanism isn't quite complete, mutations can actually arise that may lead to cancer cells developing, which can form tumors in the body. And we all know that the older we get, the more prone our bodies are to developing all types of different cancers. Now secondly, if the DNA repair mechanism completely fails, it can actually lead to cell degeneration or even death. Therefore, when cell division stops, tissues can no longer be repaired and the aging process occurs. So that is pretty much the cellular degeneration process which leads to aging in a nutshell. So with all this talk about cells degenerating, it is important for me to highlight stem cells. These are the cells that are at the root of the problem when it comes to the aging process. Every tissue in our body originates from stem cells. Stem cells have the ability to differentiate into any type of cell, maybe a nerve cell for sending messages, red blood cells for oxygen transport, or epithelial cells which needed for protective coverings in all of our organs. Whatever the cell is, it all originates from stem cells. Stem cells in our body are necessary to replenish old worn out tissues. So therefore, when the numbers decrease and they can no longer replicate, the tissue renewal process is going to be reduced and therefore that contributes to aging throughout the entire body. Now, throughout the years, many scientists have conducted extensive research and performed various trials in efforts to determine what actually causes our stem cells to degenerate over the years. So I'm going to highlight three key factors that were discovered. Now, the first factor to bring into question is our genes. Is there such a thing as aging genes? Numerous trials have been conducted to find out whether there were certain genes responsible for promoting faster cellular degeneration. Studies have actually shown that some genes are silenced in our cells when we are babies and young children. And as we get older, these genes become expressed and therefore can lead to cell degeneration. 
But there's one particular gene in question for speeding up the aging process, and that is the insulin-like growth factor 1, known as IGF-1. This gene is normally responsible for producing growth hormone to encourage cellular growth. However, scientists have discovered that a mutated version of this gene in mice actually leads to reduced growth and increased longevity. While in humans, this gene has been associated with increased risk of diseases such as breast cancer. However, it must be clear that these studies on this gene have not provided clear evidence that this gene causes faster aging. So, moving on from aging genes, let's look at the second factor, chromosome shortening. Alright, let me explain. Telomeres are cap-like segments at the end of chromosomes, which protect them during cell division. So, scientists have discovered that after each cell division, telomeres can actually shorten. So, when telomeres get too short, the cell's ability to repair itself actually slows down. So therefore, cell replication can eventually stop. So therefore, the secret to longevity, apparently, is that the longer our telomeres are, the more youthful we will look. So that pretty much means if you have short telomeres at the ends of your chromosomes, your cells could possibly be prone to faster degeneration. Now, aside from shorter telomeres, Studies have shown that mitochondrial dysfunction can also play a part in cellular degeneration. Mitochondria are energy producing organelles in our cells which are responsible for manufacturing ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ATP stores energy and fuels many cellular activities. So when mitochondrial functions decline over time, it can lead to programmed cell death according to scientists. So when the cells get old and worn out, that usually indicates that the mitochondrial activity has declined. So now that you have a better understanding of some of the genetic and structural reasons why our cell functions may start deteriorating, it's also important to know that our life cell has a major influence on how we age. Our behaviors and daily habits can decide if we age gracefully or expire quickly. It should be quite obvious that smoking and high alcohol consumption will be detrimental to the health of our cells and cause rapid aging. But also remember that unhealthy diets and sedentary lifestyles and exposure to all kinds of harmful environmental factors like sunlight, pathogens and dust can also contribute to the aging process. Now we've heard the saying, black don't crack. So is this statement really true? It often seems that those with darker skin tones tend to resist wrinkling more. But why is that? Remember that magical pigment melanin that protects us from the sun's UV rays? Well, there's a specific type of melanin called eumelanin, which creates a dark skin tone. So the more of it someone has, the more protection from the sun's UV rays and also reduce risk of cellular damage in the skin, therefore making black skin age so well. According to dermatologists, another reason black skin ages well is the higher oil content in our skin, which hydrates the skin and makes it look smoother and plumper. Also, the amount and type of collagen in black skin is also less prone to sun damage. Collagen is that protein that provides structural support in the skin and many other connective tissues in our body. However, although black skin usually ages well, we must be mindful that darker skin tones are more prone to hyperpigmentation from excess sun exposure, acne scarring, and hormonal effects. So it goes to show that no one is fully immune to the wear and tear of life as we get older. Now the big question is, can we stop the aging process, or at least try to slow it down? Well, the beauty industry has certainly capitalized on people's fear of aging producing all brands of anti-aging creams to reduce wrinkling, hair dyes to hide those grain hairs, and not to mention Botox and other cosmetic procedures that promises to keep us looking youthful. Oh, and even special dietary collagen supplements that are meant to strengthen our skin and slow down aging. But really, at the end of the day, no expensive serum or plastic surgery can stop the aging process. Senescence is our inevitable fate. As long as we are alive to see many years, we won't be able to escape it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.